This is my river, a lost river. Upstream, in the town where I grew up, the river is hemmed in by concrete, buried under pavements, buildings and roads, and the river is just a memory. I'm here at one of the few natural fragments that remain, so fragile and somehow so very perfect. Descendants of the trout from this stream now swim in the rivers of South Africa and New Zealand, exported there as over in the 1800s. Such was the stream's reputation back then for producing trophy-sized fish. Today I'm searching for the trout, hopefully to catch one or two, or perhaps at least to see them, and gauge in some way how they're doing. So I'm casting a tiny barbless spoon upstream, because as well as hits, I'll get plenty of follows. It's a great way to sample a river and to see who's home. I just love the simplicity of this approach. It goes with the flow, allowing you to tack with the current searching the water, a myriad of ways in which to fish. Many trout, especially the smaller fish once hooked will slip free before coming to hand. But I really don't worry, it's an outcome of my angling style. And after all, my life doesn't depend on a fish in the net. But a trout in the hand is a welcome gift. A jewelled reward for secrets kept. To be briefly admired then given back.
all rivers, I think, have different faces to show. But the moods of a small stream are mercurial, swift to colour up after rain, and swift to find down again. The promise in a bright clear day may be quelled by the stiffening of an easterly breeze, where yesterday the watery carnival celebrated the soft tempered sky. Angling is, after all, a kind of soup of hard days and easier days, the one the seasoning of the other. My father, Eric Beale, first showed me the Lost River and inspired me with stories of how as a boy he fished in the town before the stream was covered over. Dad was a Thames angler and the winner of an abundance of match trophies there. And it was at the Thames he first taught me how to fish. It was the start of an angling friendship we were blessed to enjoy for 50 years. Even now, I still find myself turning to tell him whenever a kingfisher flashes by. Time, like the river, flows ever on. Two or three pounds is the biggest I've caught here, but only much smaller fish come today. I'm happy to see them. It gives me hope for the future. And although a large trout follows the spoon to my boots, it's not monsters I'm chasing. I'm here to continue my conversation with the river, and hopefully to learn that all is well. This is my river. A lost river. Thank you.